The tic-tac object we engaged in in 2004 was far superior to anything that we had on time half today or looking to develop in the next 10 years. In a world where secrets have always been kept in the shadows, where the truth has been buried beneath layers of government bureaucracy, a momentous event is fast unfolding, sending shock waves across the world and rewriting the very fabric of reality. For generations, we've pondered the existence of extraterrestrial life, questioned the unexplained sightings, and whispered about the cosmic mysteries that have endlessly eluded us. But today, all of this is about to change. In an unprecedented event, the United States Congress, under the unblinking eyes of the world, has done the unthinkable, they revealed the existence of real aliens on live TV. But could there be more to this sudden revelation than meets the eye, and could we be on the brink of an extraterrestrial invasion? Join us as we journey into the heart of this mind-bending revelation, exploring the evidence and uncovering the profound implications of this shocking revelation on live TV by the US Congress. Foreign aerial phenomena have piqued our interest, prompting a collective desire to understand what they are and whether they pose any threats. The lack of transparency surrounding UAPs has given rise to wild speculation and extensive debates, eroding public trust in the very institutions entrusted with their safety. But all of this is fast changing, and the recent revelations by Congress have now reignited the debate into the true nature of this phenomenon. As far back as 1966, President Gerald Ford claimed to have witnessed a UFO, and likewise, in Georgia in 1969, Jimmy Carter made a similar assertion. These accounts, along with countless others, have spurred Congress into action, and now we're gaining some intriguing insights from witness testimonies. Now, the US Congress has not just acknowledged the existence of UAPs, it's discussing the very principles that the American nation is built on. Adding an extra layer of mystery to the entire development, David Grush, a former Air Force and intelligence official, has likewise come out to boldly assert that a shroud of secrecy has enshrouded all US space and UFO-related programs up until this moment. According to Grush, the government has concealed vital information from the public for countless years. But what's truly astonishing is that this typically off-limit subject is now being openly debated by Congress with an unusual degree of bipartisan unity. The burning question on everyone's lips now is if the US military has succeeded in making contact with extraterrestrial spacecraft or beings from distant galaxies and is only beginning to relay their correspondences with these alien beings. It's almost as if the hallowed halls of Congress have transformed into a stage for unraveling the enigmas of the universe and the intrigue doesn't stop there. For years, leaked Pentagon videos and first-hand accounts have hinted at aircraft performing maneuvers that defy all conventional understanding, almost as if they hail from another realm. These enigmas have climbed the ranks, captivating the attention of both Congress and the Defense Department. It all began in 2017 when evidence of a covert Pentagon UFO surveillance initiative surfaced, initiated at the behest of former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid. Then, in 2020, the Pentagon released three grainy videos featuring UAP, further fueling public fascination. Interestingly, another unclassified report surfaced in 2021 from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence, detailing the extent of the secretive realm of the U.S. military. The report revealed that unidentified aerial phenomena had been spotted exhibiting peculiar flight behaviors, all of which left no room for the potential of natural explanations. Fast forward to 2023, a follow-up and more detailed report emerged, casting a spotlight on more than 170 incidents demanding further scrutiny, with some featuring seemingly miraculous aerial maneuvers. This hearing, initially triggered by Grush's prior disclosures regarding the clandestine storage of alien spacecraft, has quickly become a platform for him to reaffirm those claims under oath. Despite being denied access to the program's full extent, he bravely divulges what he knows, igniting a nationwide dialogue about the potential existence of life beyond our world. The questions swirling around the US government possibly hiding evidence of extraterrestrial life in their advanced technology had everyone both captivated and skeptical. He had dared to step forward, fueled by a whistleblower complaint he filed back in 2022. Grush's mission had been to dig deep into the secrets held by various military defense and intelligence agencies regarding aliens and their mysterious crafts. Yet, he alleged that he had been systematically blocked from accessing top-secret UFO programs. With unwavering determination, Grush revealed the brutal consequences he had suffered for his act of courage. Both his personal and professional life had been relentlessly attacked in retaliation for his allegations. It was clear that his courageous stance had come at a great personal cost. As the questions continued, Grush unveiled shocking revelations about the lengths the government had gone to bury UFO-related information. 
They spoke of individuals who had suffered harm and injury, collateral damage in the government's efforts to keep their secrets hidden. When asked whether he had feared for his life, Grush answered with unshakable certainty, admitting that he had indeed experienced that bone-chilling fear. The recent congressional hearing especially ignited a blazing curiosity across the globe. People couldn't help but be drawn into the debate, torn between fascination and doubt over whether the U.S. government had been concealing evidence of extraterrestrial existence and their groundbreaking technology. The quest for truth had evolved into an exhausting and unyielding odyssey. Although no little green extraterrestrials or flying saucers were in sight, the proceedings took a jaw-dropping turn following the wholesome exposed by Grush, a central figure in the inquiry. He confidently asserted that the U.S. government had, without a doubt, encountered beings from beyond our world. The weight of his statement sent shivers rippling through the room, intensifying the aura of enigma and unease. When asked about the alien pilots who had operated these mysterious crafts, Grush confirmed their existence, emphasizing their non-human nature based on the assessments of those directly involved in the covert program. His revelation left the audience utterly speechless, their minds grappling with the profound implications of such a disclosure. The unfolding drama surrounding the UFO investigation took another unexpected twist as Grush hinted at non-human activity dating as far back as the 1930s. The room buzzed with anticipation, everyone on the edge of their seats eager for more mind-bending revelations. The entire nation sat on the edge of their seats, hungering for more information while grappling with the weight of the knowledge they had already received. The enigma of UFOs, once a staple of science fiction and conspiracy theories, had unequivocally penetrated the core of American politics, prompting profound contemplation about humanity's role in the vast cosmos. The inconsistency in Grush's statements did not escape the scrutiny of skeptics and journalists alike. Garrett Graff, a highly regarded journalist and historian currently authoring a book on the government's UFO investigations, emphasized Grush's reluctance to reiterate his most explosive claims. This stirred a whirlwind of speculations, intensifying the intrigue surrounding the ongoing investigation. In the lead-up to the hearing, Republican Congressman Tim Burchett and his partner in the investigation, Anna Paulina Luna, also vehemently accused federal officials of throwing obstacles in their path, blocking their quest for UFO truths. They believed government agencies were intentionally throwing up barriers to prevent them from unearthing the UFO enigma. These accusations only added more intrigue to the already mysterious situation, casting doubt on what concealed revelations might lurk in the shadows. After the hearing, Burchett found himself with a curious blend of satisfaction and fascination. Burchett, known for his attention-grabbing statements about alien technology capable of transforming us into charcoal briquettes and allegations of UFO cover-ups since 1947, appeared content with the proceedings. Speaking to The Guardian, he voiced his belief in the credibility of David Grush's claims concerning the recovery of non-human bodies. To him, it made perfect sense that if there were alien spacecraft, there must be occupants within them. He found Grush's testimony highly convincing, viewing it as a compelling piece of evidence. When asked about his discoveries during the investigation, Burchett admitted that he had already harbored beliefs in the existence of extraterrestrial craft before the hearing. While he didn't stumble upon many new facts, he valued that the information was now officially documented, contributing to the broader discourse on the topic. However, the Pentagon did not share Burchett's enthusiasm. Sue Goff, a spokeswoman for the Department of Defense, firmly rejected Grush's claims of a cover-up. The statement emphasized that no credible evidence had been uncovered to support the existence of programs related to extraterrestrial materials. This outpouring of shared experiences emphasized the widespread curiosity and concerns surrounding these unidentified phenomena. The hearing had injected a new layer of complexity into the ongoing discourse about UFOs and potential alien life. With respected witnesses like Fravor and Graves sharing their stories alongside Grush, the subject had gained unprecedented significance and intrigue. The global fascination with the alleged UFO sightings and the astonishing claims made by David Grush continued to hold the world's attention. When asked about the similarities between his sightings and others' reports, Grush revealed a truly mind-boggling description. Many of the reported UFOs were described as dark gray or black cubes enclosed within a transparent sphere, with the corners of the cube touching the inner surface of the sphere. This vivid and enigmatic imagery left everyone in the room utterly perplexed, deepening the mystery further. Amid all the buzz and wild speculations in the media, there were voices of caution. Grush hadn't seen any aliens or their spacecraft with his own eyes, instead, his claims rested on extensive interviews with top-level intelligence folks. Skeptics were quick to remind everyone that accusing the government of hiding UFO stuff wasn't exactly a new idea. So, there we were in this crazy hearing that was getting crazier by the minute. 
Every revelation just made us wonder more about what else was hiding behind that wall of secrecy. One guy who was totally into the whole thing was Congressman Tim Burchett, a Republican. He'd been a believer in aliens even before the hearing started, and he made a pretty simple but strong point, if spaceships were flying around, someone had to be driving them. That sure made you think aliens were out there somewhere. But not everyone at the hearing was buying the intergalactic ticket just yet. Mick West, the old pro at debunking UFO myths, approached the matter with skepticism as thick as a summer fog. His main gripe, David Grush, the guy who kicked this whole thing off, hadn't laid eyes on these oddities himself. Instead, he was basing his claims on chats with folks who supposedly had the inside scoop on government shenanigans. That left a big crack in the door for doubt, especially among the more hard-nosed observers. It was a mix of jaw-dropping stories and cautious skepticism that made the UFO conversation even more intriguing. Proving the existence of alien spacecraft and extraterrestrial beings in the hands of the US government is a formidable challenge. Mick West, a seasoned expert in debunking conspiracy theories and UFO encounters, pointed out that the real proof lies in physically inspecting the places where these extraordinary alien vessels are rumored to be stored. If Congress were to open up the entire program to the American public, it would be a chance for citizens to see these astonishing crafts up close and personal. What truly baffles the world of UFO secrecy is how the government has managed to keep such a deep veil of mystery for so many years. In an age where government secrets often leak and whistleblowers reveal classified information, the ability to hide advanced extraterrestrial technology remains a perplexing puzzle. West emphasized that this enigmatic secrecy isn't limited to just one country, it's a global mystery wrapped in layers of intrigue. The fascination with UFOs and the possibility of life beyond our planet extends far beyond American borders. The United Kingdom has also witnessed its fair share of mysterious encounters with unidentified flying objects. One noteworthy instance occurred in 2011 when the British Ministry of Defense bravely unveiled 8,500 pages of reports detailing UFO sightings dating back to the 1950s. This bold disclosure illustrated that the enchantment and curiosity surrounding UFOs unite people worldwide, transcending cultural and societal boundaries. This fascination has sparked numerous discussions, investigations, and speculations about UFOs and extraterrestrial life. Governments across the globe grapple with how to approach the subject of UFOs, trying to strike a delicate balance between satisfying public curiosity and safeguarding classified information. Thanks for joining us on this cosmic journey. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the video on your screen for more mind-bending content. Until next time, keep gazing at the stars. This is Cosmic Inquiries, signing off.